Hello everybody, welcome back to the video, and today I'm going to be discussing Deadpool and Wolverine. More specifically, the trailer that released during the Super Bowl. So yes, that is the name of the movie, is Deadpool and Wolverine. I'm fine with it. it, it's pretty simple. So yeah, let's just get into this. So this isn't going to be a full breakdown of the trailer, it's just going to be a general sort of review of the trailer. And it mainly focuses a lot on Deadpool obviously. And, you know, it's funny, for a trailer for a movie called Deadpool and Wolverine, we don't really get that much Wolverine in it. Uh, you know, I would have liked to have seen where maybe, you know, there's a scene where he gets an idea to get Wolverine. Maybe that'll be in the full trailer. You know, maybe a full line of dialogue will be in the trailer. I don't know. So, the general plot of the movie is still largely unknown. We do have a few elements to go off of. There's going to be a giant destroyed 20th Century Fox uh, statue. Uh, we, It's generally believed Deadpool is going to wind up in the Void, but if this trailer is anything to go off of, the Void might actually be a much bigger part of this movie than I think people were first expecting. Okay, so... A couple of quick things. I got a theory super fast. Now, there is what looks like Wolverine wearing a white suit at a scene involving, assume, I'm assuming, a poker table when Deadpool says, your whole cinematic universe is about to change. And so that makes me think, okay, interesting. And so this white suit Wolverine is actually from a recent comic run called Wolverine Patch. Patch being Wolverine's alias. Now, this is a new interpretation. Hugh Jackman has not done this interpretation. So, what if this is a parallel universe Wolverine? Could this be the Wolverine from the altered X-Men Origins timeline? Um, let me explain. So, at the end of Deadpool 2, Deadpool gets Cable's time machine. And, yeah, Deadpool and time travel. Anyway, basically what happens is Deadpool goes back in time and kills other Deadpool. The one from X-Men Origins Wolverine. And basically tells Wolverine, you know, hey, eventually you're going to hang up the claws. People are going to be really sad. One day your old buddy Wade Wilson's going to come and ask you to get back on the saddle. Just say yes. What if this white suit Wolverine is the same Wolverine that saw Deadpool kill a variant of himself, right? Because that's one thing that's still kind of out there. So what if this is actually the case? So that would be interesting. Um, so I like the incorporation of the TVA. You know, it makes a lot of sense to use the TVA in a Deadpool movie, a little bit weird that this is actually going to be the first theatrical feature to have the TVA in it. I mean, we've had two seasons from Loki. Maybe this could explore the early parts of the TVA because people are a little confused. You know, is this before Loki? Is this after? Now, the way that I see it, I think that it is entirely possible that maybe Loki is building the new Avengers. Right? Maybe this is sort of a test run for Deadpool. You know, because, I mean, Deadpool, in the meta sense, is a very important Fox X-Men character. the Pretty much the only successful spinoff franchise. And I think when people would ask, he's probably the second favorite, only behind Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. So, maybe, you know, Loki decides, hey, Deadpool might be a good pick. For a team to go against someone. Maybe Kang. I don't know. Could be interesting. I do think that this is after the events of Loki. Because we do have. An actual Fox X-Men universe. You know. Whereas it's kind of implied. That the that 616. That's the sacred timeline from Loki season 1. Multiverse starts forming. At the end of season 1. After the death of Hero Remains. Loki takes all of the branches 
organizes them into Yggdrasil at the end of Loki Season 2, which means for any alternate timelines, that must come after the events of Loki Season 2. So, to clear up any confusion, I believe Deadpool 3 is after Loki Season 2. Which also explains the lack of Owen Wilson in this trailer. Alright, we're good on that? Good. So, one thing that is getting the attention of a lot of people is there is one shot where if you zoom in really closely, uh, you can notice a particular comic book lying on the ground. Secret Wars. Now, okay, it's not this one specifically. This is a full copy of the entire thing. You know, this is the entire Secret Wars event. However, it is issue number five, which is apparently about the creation of Battleworld. So, I mean, Deadpool could literally just find this comic and say, oh, you're doing Battleworld and you want me to be a part of it. Okay. Or, right, no, I don't think anyone suggested this before. I didn't think about this until I noticed this, and literally a few minutes before I hit the record button. What if Deadpool sees this comic book and thinks, now there's an idea. What if it, What if Battleworld is Deadpool's idea? I know this probably won't happen, but it would be awesome if it did. That Deadpool finds this comic, you know, maybe brings it to the TVA and says... Here's a way you could save everyone from these incursions. You just shove all the these different planets together, and here you go. I think it could be fun. It could be a funny idea if, you know, Deadpool is the one that maybe, you know, if not creates Battleworld somehow, that he's the one that gives someone the idea to create Battleworld. So, yeah, we do get a teaser of the movie's villain, and... Honestly, the comic history of this movie's villain is really, really weird. So, stick with me here as I try to explain this. So, the comic book villain they're choosing for this movie is a villain by the name of Cassandra Nova. The twin sister, Charles Xavier, that he killed during a telepathic fight in the womb. Yes, that is a sentence I just said. This is something that actually happens in Marvel Comics. Yeah. Anyway, this is the villain they're choosing to do for Deadpool 3. Which uh, makes me wonder, why this villain? This is this is kind of a weird pick for a giant multiversal movie. Well, now, okay, maybe... Maybe I thought about this detail too much. But in the trailer, when the TVA first show up at Deadpool's house, they knock on his door, and it's four. They knock four times like this. So, right, maybe this is a little bit out there, but what if they're trying to do what uh, Doctor Who did with the end of time, kind of? In that story, the Master takes his consciousness and spreads it over the entire Earth, right? Well, actually, turns everyone on Earth into himself, right? What if something similar is trying... What if that's the villain plan of Deadpool 3, something similar? Because, I mean, Disney does have access to Doctor Who now. Deadpool could fully make a joke about Doctor Who. And so, what if this is literally something similar where it's Cassandra Nova, who effectively has the same powers as Professor X, which you know makes her a very powerful telepath in the movie. Well, what if that's the villain plan, is to maybe use Deadpool to somehow you know, amplify her brain across the multiverse? I, I don't know. I don't... That kind of seems like the thing a villain would try to do in a... I don't know, it's just a... I don't know why I came up with that. I just did and figured I'd say it now. Who knows? This movie is definitely going to be something interesting, and I'm very excited for it. 
Anyway, that's it for this video. If you want to check out some other videos that have to do with Avengers Secret Wars and Deadpool 3, I did a short on predicting a title. I did a review. Also, I did a review series on most of the Loki episodes. I didn't get around this to episode 2 of season 2. Well, okay, most of the episodes of season 2. I did a video on who should be the new Avengers and who should be the villain of Secret Wars. Actually, that's a two-part video right there. That's it for this video. Like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.